I've been on the lookout for a small, portable projector that's bright enough and smart enough for family trips. I think this may be the one. Let's check out the XGMe Alpha Mini Projector. Hi, this is David of Tech Baba, a channel I share my experiences on how technology enhances my time with kids and family as a dad. If this is your first time here, welcome. Please consider subscribing to the channel. In today's video, let's unbox and try out the XGMe Alpha Mini Projector. I've been looking for a small projector we can take with us when we travel, but small or mini projectors have not been bright enough for me. This one is small and can output 800 NC lumens for a large up to 200 inch screen. It's also packed with smart features, so let's check it out. It comes in a very nice box. Reminds me a bit of Apple packaging like the way it opens up. It even has a foam under the cover for added protection. Inside the box, there is the projector. Underneath, there is a rather thick manual. The Bluetooth remote control. And it comes with a charging brick like a laptop. Good thing it's not that big. For a projector that can output 800 NC lumens, XGMe Alpha is indeed thin and compact. It's shaped just like a Mac Mini. It's about the same size too as 7.5 inches by 7.5 inches and less than 2 inches thick. It's a little bit lighter at about 2 pounds. A very clean, sleek, small projector. The case is plastic, mostly white. On the top, there is just a tiny XGMe logo. In the front, there is the lens, no lens cover, a whole bunch of tiny venting holes in a nice fading pattern to the right, and a sensor for automatic screen adjustments, which I'll cover in a bit. In the back, there is a power button, the only button on the projector. Heat sink fan slots for cooling, a HDMI port, an USB-A port, a 3.5mm audio out, and a power input. Inside the projector, there is a 0.33 inch DLP 1080p image chip that supports HDR10+. There are two 3 watt Harman Kardon speakers built in, which we'll also try out later. On the bottom, there are more venting slots all the way around. Three rubber feet. The two round ones in the front can be adjusted to tilt the projector up just a little bit. But not by much. There's a quarter inch connector in the middle though for mounting the projector. I use it to set up the projector on my tripod for best placements in the house or when I travel. Very convenient. Since the projector has no buttons other than the power button, all the functions are controlled with this Bluetooth remote control. It's also mostly white with a triangular shaped back. It takes two AAA batteries which are not included. The controls are very intuitive. The buttons are nicely laid out with a scroll wheel in the middle and volume rocker on the bottom. There's a small switch in the back that could change the rocker to either control volume up and down or adjust focus manually. All right, let's plug it in and check it out. Here I have it set up on my tripod like I would when we travel. In this case, I'm simply projecting to a blank wall in a bedroom. When the projector powers up, it automatically tries to adjust the keystone to make sure the screen is rectangular. Even when the projector may be placed slanted or tilted up to 40 degrees to the wall or the screen. It also auto-focuses. Whenever the projector is bumped or moved, it'll try to adjust the keystone and focus again. Very cool. It can even try to avoid a simple object blocking the screen. These auto adjustments work very well and quickly. They can also be adjusted manually if needed. Unlike a dedicated home theater setup which I set it up once and forget. These are great features for a travel projector since I'm always moving it from one place to another. It needs to quickly adapt to sometimes less than ideal locations and angles. The screen is currently about 100 inches across. 
even when the room is well lit like now, the projection is more than bright enough to see. And it looks even better when the room is dark. The projector is also a smart TV. It has the Android TV 10 operating system, which lets me install all the popular streaming services and more once the Wi-Fi is connected. YouTube, of course, Disney+, Netflix, Apple TV+, HBO Max, even Plex. And many, many more are available in the Google Play Store. Here is a 4K video from my channel. Bright and sharp for 1080p projectors, especially considering its compact size. The fan stays quiet and the speakers sound good and balanced. They're not the loudest, of course, but good enough to fill up a mid-sized room. Here are a couple of HDR videos. Nice colors and highlights. Yeah, look at the colors and highlights popping even more out of the screen with HDR content. With all the streaming apps available and the built-in speakers, when we travel, all I need to bring is this small projector and its power supply, set it up on my tripod, point it to a flat wall or $25 cloth screen, and the family can enjoy a big screen over 100 inches when we're on vacation. Even though I no longer need to attach a streaming device like a Roku or Amazon TV to the projector, we love to plug in our Nintendo Switch to play games on a big screen when we travel. It connects to the HDMI port in the back of the projector, and voila, Switch sports on a huge screen. The projector has a game mode boost that minimizes delay when we play video games on it. By the way, I got this very compact all-in-one docking charger for the Switch, which I will share on my channel soon. So subscribe if you want to see more videos on how useful tech can help a dad and family out. At 650 US dollars, XGMI Alphan is an amazing little projector. There are additional discounts from time to time in the link I'll put in the description below. If you're also looking for a small portable projector that's bright enough and smart enough for travel or a corner of your house, check this one out. Thanks for watching. If you find any part of this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. What other small or mini projectors have you tried? I'd love to hear your experiences in the comment section below. If you want to see more videos on how technology can enhance our life for kids and family, please subscribe and turn on the bell to be notified when I put out my next video. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, remember to cherish each moment.